Gardeners have debated pine needles for generations, some folks swear by them as a long-lasting mulch, while others warn that they acidify the soil and you know, just take forever to decompose. You've probably seen piles of them under a pine tree that look almost the same year after year, leading to the assumption that they never really rot. But is that actually true? To answer this once and for all, we tracked pine needles carefully, season by season, to see exactly how long they take to break down, and what that process means for your soil. What we discovered shows why pine needles are both misunderstood and honestly incredibly valuable when handled the right way. At first glance, pine needles don't behave like typical yard waste. While grass clippings, leaves, and kitchen scraps break down within months, pine needles really resist decay. The reason lies in their structure. Pine needles are coated in a waxy cuticle that protects them from losing moisture and slows microbial attack. Their lignin content, the tough compound that gives plants rigidity, is much higher than softer leaves, making them woody in nature despite their thin appearance. This combination of wax and lignin explains why they persist on the soil surface long after other materials have crumbled away. In decomposition terms, pine needles fall into the slow carbon category. Instead of feeding microbes rapidly like fresh green waste, they release nutrients gradually and provide a long-lasting mulch layer. This durability is what has made them so controversial. Some see it as a drawback, while others recognize it as a hidden advantage. When fresh pine needles are applied as mulch or mixed into a compost pile, very little happens at first. During the first three to six months, decomposition is minimal. The needles dry out and darken in color, but their structure remains intact. Microbes find it difficult to penetrate the waxy surface, and the lignin slows the breakdown even further. By the end of the first year, especially if exposed to rain, snow, and freeze-thaw cycles, needles begin to soften. The cuticle starts to wear away, and fungi, particularly white rot fungi that specialize in breaking down lignin, begin their work. At this stage the needles can be bent and crushed more easily, though they still remain recognizable as pine needles. In a compost pile with high heat, this first stage can be accelerated, but in a cool outdoor environment, a full year is often needed before the first signs of real breakdown appear. The real changes happen during the second and third years. By now, fungal threads infiltrate the needles, breaking apart the lignin structure. The once rigid needles lose their sharpness and begin to crumble when rubbed between your fingers. Soil-dwelling invertebrates like millipedes and springtails also play a role, chewing and fragmenting the material into smaller pieces that microbes can finish off. By the third year, most pine needles in a mulch layer will have transitioned into a fibrous, humus-like material. They may no longer be recognizable as needles, instead blending with soil particles to create a dark, spongy layer that's really rich in organic matter. This gradual transformation is honestly slower than most other mulches, but it creates a steady contribution of carbon and fungal-rich organic matter to the soil. In controlled observations, small fragments of pine needles could still be found after four to five years, especially in dry climates where microbial activity is slower. However, by this stage, they're no longer functioning as needles, but as part of the soil's humus fraction. Their nutrients, mainly small amounts of nitrogen, calcium, and trace minerals, have already been released, and what remains is stable organic carbon that contributes to soil structure and water retention. This is the secret of pine needles. While they take longer than almost any other natural mulch to disappear, what they leave behind is among the most valuable fractions of organic matter for long-term soil fertility. One of the biggest concerns gardeners have about pine needles is that they will make the soil too acidic. Fresh pine needles do have an acidic pH, usually in the range of 3.2 to 3.8. However, as soon as they fall and begin to weather, much of that acidity leaches out with rainfall. 
You know, multiple soil studies confirm that pine needle mulch does not significantly acidify garden soil over time. At most, it creates a slightly acidic microenvironment on the soil surface, which can actually be quite beneficial for acid-loving crops like blueberries or azaleas. For vegetables, flowers, and fruit trees, the effect is really negligible. The fear of pine needles ruining soil is more of a myth rooted in appearance rather than in actual soil science. Knowing that pine needles break down slowly, the best way to use them is as a long-term mulch. A layer about 2 to 3 inches thick provides excellent weed suppression and moisture retention without compacting like wood chips sometimes do. Because they interlock, they are less likely to blow away than straw or leaves, making them ideal for windy or sloped areas. For gardeners who want faster decomposition, mixing pine needles with high nitrogen materials such as grass clippings, manure, or kitchen scraps in a compost pile helps balance the carbon to nitrogen ratio. Shredding the needles before composting can also cut decomposition time nearly in half since it breaks open the waxy coating and exposes more surface area to microbes. Another valuable use is in pathways between garden rows. Pine needles form a soft, cushion-like surface that suppresses weeds, keeps feet clean, and after several years, enriches the soil beneath without constant renewal. Looking beneath pine forests offers valuable insight. In natural ecosystems, layers of needles accumulate over decades, creating thick duff that resists erosion, suppresses weeds, and feeds fungal networks. Despite the slow breakdown, these forest soils remain fertile, demonstrating that slow-release organic matter has just as much importance as fast decomposing materials. By mimicking this process in our gardens, we create soils that are not only fertile but also stable holding carbon for the long term, and supporting resilient microbial communities. So how long does it take for pine needles to break down? Well, on the soil surface, you can expect about one year for the first signs of decay, two to three years for significant breakdown, and four or more years for a complete transformation into soil humus. In a compost pile, especially when you shred them and balance with nitrogen, the process can be reduced to just one to two years. Rather than viewing their slow decomposition as a drawback, gardeners really should see pine needles as a unique resource. They actually provide one of the longest-lasting mulches available, contribute to soil organic matter over the long term, and offer a free, renewable source of material wherever pines grow. Their misunderstood reputation, honestly, hides the fact that they are among the most useful natural soil builders available to the patient gardener. If you found this deep dive into pine needle decomposition useful, go ahead and subscribe to Hydro Haven and share this guide with your fellow gardeners. Together, we can bring clarity to gardening myths and uncover the real science that helps us all grow stronger, healthier soil.